All right, let's talk about import XML. This is the last of the five of the import functions that are built into Google Sheets. I've gone over the others in previous videos. They're up here for your reference, and they will be included in the Google Sheet that I've linked in the description below. Today, though, we're looking at a very powerful one, uh, but it's also complicated, import XML. Let's start with a web page because we need a URL address. And here we have it up here. This is my author page at Free Code Camp. It's just got a list of the articles that I've written, the titles, and the links to them, etc. If you pull up the developer tools, we can then inspect the page and see some things about all of these elements. To use uh, import XML, you have to know a little bit of HTML, which is how information is presented on a website. You can see that down here as I highlight or as I scroll through different items, it's highlighting them up there on the web page. For instance, this H2 class postcard title, this is actually this section right here, the title to that article. As we'll find if we inspect others, they are all H2 class postcard titles. And then they simply have different text as well as what's called an anchor tag with an href. That's the link to this particular article. Okay, so you can find out tons of stuff just by right-clicking a page and saying inspect, and then it will pull up the developer tools down below. Let's go into our spreadsheet where I've pulled the address to that page for us to use, and it's in A11. And then let's start out by writing something simple ourselves. Import XML. A11, which is where the URL of that page is, that's my author page, and then XPath query. So this is going to take a query that's written in double quotes with a double slash at the start of it, and we can put in something as simple as H1, which is, or an H2 rather, which is a header element, and it will pull in all of those titles because they're all H2 elements, but it's also pulling this guy right here, this little snippet about me. I don't want that. So in order to be a little bit more specific over here in our actual statement, we're going to write A11 again, slash slash asterisk. That's gonna, that's shorthand for saying I want all of these things. And the things we want are enclosed in brackets. We're gonna go at class postcard title. Okay, that's gonna say, hey, look for anything with the class postcard title. And we found that in our page right here. Okay, so once we do that, it's gonna pull in all of the titles to my articles. In order to get the slug or the URL for the individual articles, we're gonna do something similar. It starts out the same way. So we're getting that class postcard title, and then we're saying, hey, uh, go one step further. Nested beneath there is an anchor tag, so slash slash a slash at href. It gets a little funky, right? But it's real powerful because you can get super specific on what information you want to pull into your Google Sheet. So that's saying, look at those H2 elements, the titles we just pulled, and then attached to those is this anchor tag with a URL. So bring that over here. And sure enough, it brings that over here. Now, in order to turn that into a working link, I just concatenated the freecodecamp.org part with that slug I just extracted. Okay, this is the bare essentials of what you can do, but it gives you a good introduction to the power of XPath query. Uh, here is a cheat sheet. This will be linked in the description. Uh, also linked is that Google sheet that we just used. This shows you, I mean, it goes way into the weeds. You can find whatever you need to in terms of how to look up different things depending on how it's listed on the page that you're trying to look it up. I found everything I needed here. It took some problem solving, some sleuth work in some cases, but super powerful. I hope it's helpful for you in importing data to your own spreadsheets. Let me know in the comments below. Click like and subscribe to the video. It really helps out the channel. You're awesome. Thanks and goodbye.